Hello, this is Fraser from Norfolk and you're watching Katie Picks. Hello and welcome to Katie Picks. It's a pizza night kind of night tonight. I don't know, maybe you're having a slumber party on a Tuesday, I'm not sure. But we are making one of my favourite go-to naughty midweek meals, although not that naughty. I say that with a lot of my recipes, don't I? It's not that bad. We're making a super, super speedy pizza. This isn't your bog standard pizza recipe. It's a cheats pizza. And it's not like my previous cheats pizza, which you can see if you click this link up here. First things first, pop your grill on your oven. Turn it up to a nice high heat because that's going to finish everything off for this recipe. And we're also going to do it on the hob, in a pan, 15 minutes is all you're going to need for this. So let's roll our sleeves up and get a crack in. So we're going to kick things off with making our dough. So just grab yourself a bowl. In this we're going to add in wholemeal self-raising flour. We're then going to add in plain flour, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and half a teaspoon of salt. Give it a little bit of flavour. So that is all of our dry ingredients into the bowl. We then need to add in the wet ingredients to bind it. So I've actually got 280 mils of buttermilk. Grab a spoon, just going to mix this together just to start off with. And then once this is mixed a little bit, we're then going to get our hands involved. So make sure you've got clean fingers, people. That's beautifully combined now. So you've just got a really nice, it's a, it's a well gathered dough. It's nice and soft still, but it's still got a little bit of tack to it as well. Pop a pan onto our hob, put it onto a medium to high heat. Whilst that's heating up, we're going to let that heat up with just a drizzle, literally a teaspoon at most of oil. <laughs> Onto a lightly floured surface. With our pizza, we want to be rolling this out. So this is probably enough actually to make about 12 pizzas in this size pan. It's pretty decent. I'm going to take just probably about a Golf, size, golf ball size ball off of it. That's, that's too little, I'm going bigger. Let's go a bit bigger. I don't know what you compare that to. What do you compare that to? Tennis ball, tennis ball, yeah. Pop that down on the surface and we're gonna roll it out to about the thickness of a pound coin. I like a nice crispy pizza. So that is our pizza base. Our pan is nice and hot. This is now going to shake off the dust a little bit. Oh, I'm like proper. Spin it. Ah, oh, I did a little bit then. Anyway, this is going to go into our pan. Hopefully, get a nice little frazzle. There it is. Whilst that is cooking, we're going to move nice and quickly and do all of our toppings. So, here I've got just a bog standard jar of passata sauce. I'm going to pimp it up a little bit. So, I've got 500 grams here. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of sugar, and then we're going to season properly with a nice bit of salt and pepper. You should get that in there. Give that a good stir. Delicious. Passata sauce is ready to go. Right, spatula in hand. We're just going to have a little check on the underside here. And as you see, it's gone beautiful. It's started going beautifully brown. Like that. Right. So at this point in time, we're going to flip it. Flip it real good. Flip it over. Beautiful. And you're immediately at this point, going to do all of your toppings. So, I'm going to get a nice bit of passata in there. Ooh. Mozzarella, I'm going to tear that onto there as well. Let's get a nice big tear. Oh, yes. Oh my God, I love mozzarella. Beautiful. And then I'm also going to just pick out some nice, beautiful little basil leaves here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is ready to go into your oven under the grill, and it will literally take a matter of minute, two minutes, once that cheese is melted, bubbling a little bit, the underside is getting lots of lovely heat still from your hob and from the pan itself. And guys, that's it. You got yourself a beautiful pizza. Oh, it's gooey, it's delicious. It's piping hot. But what you can see, can you catch that underneath? That gorgeous, Perfectly cooked, perfectly crispy, perfectly charred bottom. Oh, 
Oh my God. It's kind of like puffed up in the middle and it's that little bit, a little bit soft and doughy, but then it's crunchy on both sides. Absolutely delicious. Decorate any way you want. You've got some pepperoni, you've got some ham in the fridge. Please give this a go. If you do, share a picture with me. I love seeing your pictures. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the Katie Picks. I'm here every single Tuesday doing brand new recipes. So if you fancy it, why not subscribe? And if you like this video in general, why not hit that little thumbs up button just there? Anyway, until next time, hopefully I'll see you then. Bye! Who wants pizza? Yeah? Pepperoni. Pepperoni.